Climbing is an extremely dangerous activity. Do not attempt what you're going to see in this video unless you have the proper training and equipment. All right, so for this project, this is how to get a mesh unit um, stationary with an external power source. Now, I understand everybody doesn't want to build a deploy anywhere self-sustaining repeater system. That I understand. So this is a lot more attainable project for most people. So what you're going to need for this particular project here is uh, any kind of safety equipment. Safety is paramount. All you're going to need is a mesh unit, external power supply, and a Pelican 1030 case and some paracord. Now for this video, we're using bright paracord so you can see it. Now, what I just did is got two carabiners or a weight source and I just threw it up over a branch in this tree. Now, for most people, this is where this project, you know, just kind of, you know, basically is almost done. So I'm going to get this thing down and uh, we'll go to phase one uh, or option one for this project and uh, then go to option two. All right, so now that I got the paracord over the branch and you don't want it too close to the tree because that's gonna screw up the, um, the RF from the unit. So you kind of want it in free space for option one, right? So we have it just about the right length. This is 20 feet high. I know that because this is 40 feet of paracord. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just disconnect this bowline here. Maybe I shouldn't tie these so tight. Okay. Now we have our ends here. And for this demonstration, what I'm just gonna do is just throw a carabiner on here. But you just wanna tie a simple knot in it, that's it. So we'll get to that in a minute. Then what you want to do is you want to get your mesh unit, make sure it's unpaired with your device, hook it up to the external power source. Now, in the description of this, this is way too big of a power external power source. This is just uh, to show the idea of, of what we're doing, right? So you, you want one of those smaller ones that are about that big, about that long. And then what you want to do is plug this, the USB cable, into the power source. And then you want to just plug it into the USB side of your Gotenna mesh. Now make sure it's on, of course. There we go. All right, perfect. So, like I said, this is just for demonstration only. And like I said, this is way, 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 way too big. So, what we're gonna do is get this in here somehow. Actually, I oh, can't take that out because that's gonna screw the waterproofness. I got this in here before, I don't remember how. Oh yeah, this was it. Okay, perfect. Nice. That's flashing, that's good. Fantastic. Now you want to, of course, like I said before, a smaller external battery, okay? So everything's in here. Make sure it is sealed up nice and tight. There we go. Perfect. Got everything in here. Now, this is not ideal. Like I said, this external battery is way too big. And uh, what you're going to want to do is just basically take it. put it through here perfect and then what you're going to want to do is really simple just flag pull it up just like that okay now that's a little, uh, you know, hasty. This is just for demonstration purposes. If there wasn't a carabiner there, it would hang straight down. I know, because I've done this before. And then what are you gonna do with this? Good question. Um, I recommend a rope cleat. 
uh, like this one right here. Um, and this is gonna just allow you to, you know, go to the base of your tree right here and just cleat it off, um, you know, installs like this. So, you know, it keeps it there. Um, you might want to use uh, olive drab or black paracord just so it doesn't draw unwanted attention. Um, and this is option one for most people, okay? Uh, we're gonna do option two next. So this is option two. And instead, what we're gonna do is get this big rope here. There we go, perfect length, up and over. That's step one. So we got the rope over, and we're gonna get it, we're gonna get it more towards the center of the branch because we do not want to be ascending up this uh, with this rope this far out just because that's unsafe. So I'm going to get this closer to the tree. So now that we got this rope a little bit closer um, to the branch so it has more um, more load bearing capacity, um, I'm going to go up to that, not the branch that the rope's on, but the one next to it so I can stand on that branch and that branch and then climb up higher. So. What we're going to do now is we're going to take a carabiner because we're going to need this up there, right? So I'm just going to clip this to the back of my harness, just like this. I'm also going to need this rope also. I'm going to clip this to the back of my harness as well because I'm going to need both ropes when I'm up there, right? So now all we got to do is get up there. So let's do that. So, you know, just casually ascend your way up the line. Oh, yeah. Just casually, you know, at your own pace. All right. All right, next step. Now that you're up in the tree, you're just taking a little break on a branch. You're clipped in, you have your, your safety line in, everything's good. I think this is a good time to take an e-cig break or a cigarette break. Mm-hmm. All right, it's time to get going. Burning daylight here. All right, so now it's up we go. So I got 80 feet of paracord, so I want to go to, let's say about 40-ish feet is where we want to go. So let's hurry up and go there. Oh yeah, this is going to work very nicely, very nicely. Some more. Oh. This is why I wear a helmet. always be clipped in always 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 you want to make sure these guys don't get twisted around the tree because you're gonna need them to just have kind of you know to be able to fall freely so I'm just gonna take this one and this one just temporarily place them here there we go and up we go Getting closer to the top. So I'm gonna get these guys, clip them into the back of my harness real quick. There's my downline. Here's my pelican hanging line. All right, and up we go even some more. Once I'm clipped in, I know that I'm about 40 feet right now because each paracord length is, I believe it's it's 40 or 50 feet and I'm, I'm at the halfway point. So I'm either 40 or 50 feet above the ground. So right now I'm gonna install my little anchor thing here. What I'm gonna do is just kinda pound it in a little bit and then use the carabiner to get it in. This carabiner is not designed for this purpose. However, it's doing a fantastic job. 
making my life real easy right now. So I'm gonna make sure and mark this carabiner because we're using it in a manner it's not supposed to be used in. So I'm gonna take it out of service. Oh yeah, get in there. All right, now this is the part I love. I don't know if you can see this, but I actually feel the tree moving when the, wind is, when the wind's blowing. It's actually kind of relaxing, kind of like being on a boat. Okay, so what we did is we got our, uh, our mesh line, as we, as we call it. We got this in. If you want to get real fancy, you can use a pulley. Or, you know, you don't even have to use any of this stuff. You can just, like, go over a branch, right? Uh, we're just, you know, doing this, whatever. So you, you just want to send this to the ground. Where's that halfway point? And that touches the ground damn near at the halfway point. So this is actually a, a pretty perfect setup right here. So what I'm gonna do is just, hey, this part is done. So let's move on to uh, getting down. We have, uh, uh, thanks to uh, Nick Olson and Popsicle Island School of Climbing, we have this dual line 11.4 um, millimeter static line. It's called the salt line made by Blue Water Ropes. Uh, Popsicle Island is a great place to learn how to uh, mountaineer and climb. So we're just going to get this all the way down there. And then dual line down. Getting down. Weehaw! Now that we see over there is the Deploy Anywhere self-sustaining repeater system right there. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, look at that. That valley. Oh, radio line of sight is, is sexy to me. So I'm going to take a break here. I got to get that. That is my initial uh, getting up line. So I got to figure something out how to, how to do that action is all it took Woo -hoo. a little sketchy there that's okay a little sketchy is good There's a bold line, well, there's a fine line between boldness and stupidity. I gotta be careful to uh, stay on the bold side of things. All right. Yeehaw, rope swing time! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Yes! Uh, we gotta get away from that line. Okay, there we go. Ugh. Ooh, protect the nuts, protect the nuts. Might need those someday, who knows? Ooh, that's dangerous. And that is why I use two carabiners. And that actually should have been a locking one. So. Make sure you use proper technique. Don't go Popsicle Island. Take down your uh, descending line. Make sure it does not get wrapped up in your mesh up line because that will suck if you have to go up there and get that again. That would suck. Luke, say hi to everybody. Howdy. So Luke's here for um, Beer support, he uh, does a very fine job of that, I'd like to add. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flag pull this up here. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Luke. So for this demonstration, I'm not putting in 
the big power supply because this is just a demonstration, but hey, for the hell of it, let's get my phone out. Whoa, easy there. All right, so let's open the Gotenna app. Yes, my Gotenna was connected, I know. Let's go to settings, on pair Gotenna. Let's turn this one on. Hit pair, pair with, pair with mesh, fantastic. All right, so I'm all paired up with this unit that's right in front of me. All right. Hello. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, okay. So, now what you'd wanna do, small, uh, longer lasting battery in here. This is where the antenna is, so make sure it has it down here because you do not want anything metal by the antenna that's gonna screw up the RF propagation. So what we're gonna do with this is just flag pull it up. And this is the upside right here. How you been? Not bad. Nice. Yeah, I went fishing today out on the sky. The last weekend for salmon fishing. Oh, nice, man. It's really nice out there right now. It's just nice outside in general right now. And that's why we use a pelican case, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so screw this. We are gonna just do this real quick. I'm sure you guys love watching me tie knots. So let's uh, get this all figured out. Um, I wouldn't use a metal carabiner. Um, I would just uh, tie knots um, just because metal, you know, screws up RF. So all you want to do is just hoist it up, flag pull it just like that. And it's 40 or 50 feet. And now the thing is you don't want it too close to the tree. So let's back it off about oh five to seven maybe ten feet just because there's more free space around there for the uh you know the rf and maybe just a little bit more okay there we go so now that we got this so what we're going to do now is i install install the cleat here you know just go around you know and just cleat it a couple times And uh, your uh, stationary node is good to go. And, uh, you know, like I said before, use paracord um, that's either black or olive drab so it blends in. Use a pelican case that's of the same color. There's a little bit of gloss to it, but that's okay. So there you have it. Option number one. Option number two. Most people, they're going to go with option number one, uh, <laughs> which is a lot easier, wouldn't you think, Luke? Yeah. Uh, option number two is for, I don't know, your crazy friend George and people like him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but thanks for watching um, and mesh on. I totally forgot this in the video. So check this out. That mesh unit is all the way up there, <laughs> but I'm still connected via Bluetooth. So let's do a shout message and see who's out there. Hello. See if I can reach Paul. I should have let him know he would have had his unit on. Well, no one's out there yet, but that's okay. Um, but it's awesome because you can be, I don't know, I mean, I've been as far as over there and the Bluetooth uh, is still connected because radio line of sight. So that's the end of the video for real this time. Thanks for watching. All right, so that was a great way to spend the afternoon. I work at 10 o'clock tonight. What time is it? 6.45? 6.45 or so. So I got to shower, get ready, eat, 
622? Yeah, just have one beer and then, you know, call it good. Hey, Luke, by the way, thanks for all your help. Couldn't have not done this without you. Whew.